Today we're talking Replit and Notion, and I'm just going to show you what this integration entails and why you should get started building with Replit and Notion. So in front of me, I have a Replit app. If you're unfamiliar, Replit is the fastest place to go from idea to app. We vibe code. You can generate code using AI. And this is a blog that I built just with natural language. I kind of chatted back and forth with our agent. If you've seen my videos, you know that this, you know, this is pretty cool, but you, you can do this with Replit. Now, the cool thing, if I click into one of these posts here, is that uh, the content for this blog actually comes from Notion. So I'm going to go over to Notion. What I did was I built out a little database here. I added some titles, uh, some descriptions and bodies. You might notice that we generated some of these. I'll get to that in a second. And then I just prompted agent to build on top of that Notion database with our new integration. And what I got was a website that fetches the contents, you can kind of see them here in the logs, from that database and services it in sort of a CMS fashion. And so what we've done at Replit is we've built this Notion integration um, that allows us to do two things. We can pull from Notion databases or we can push to those databases. And I think about these distinctly because they surface two really interesting types of applications. You could have, for example, content pulling content from the database, uh, something that surfaces blog posts, job listings, other data or trackers, like if you built a workout sort of log in Notion and you want to have a front end where you can uh, pull in data or maybe push to uh, data, or you could have like form submissions, surveys, rankings, a bunch of other really cool stuff. Um, and so you know, that lends itself to some really unique ideas, right? Using Notion as a CMS, completely customizing the front end in Replit, building other really cool functionality on top of that, uh, building out like job listing sites or other, you know, sort of listing sites where users can submit their info and then it flows into your existing Notion workflows. And that might also look like integrating forms into your website, like the actual styling of your website if it's built on Replit, interactive surveys or voting apps, you name it. And I think the underrated part of this, the part that wasn't immediately obvious to me at first, is that both of these platforms have other integrations. And that's really cool. So with Replit, right, you use Agent to build and deploy, but we also support building with databases. We support building with OpenAI. We support adding authentication. So now you have an app that's backed by Notion. You can add auth authentication on it, or you could add some like AI functionality. Maybe the user types in a message, you enhance that message and pass it to your Notion database, or you use Gemini to check that message for spam or like foul language or something. Um, on the flip side, Notion also has integrations and really cool AI enhancements. So you could, you know, use Notion as sort of your data storage and your, your project management and all of that stuff, and then start tying in automations, right? So what I did for this blog post was that I actually just typed in this title and then I enhanced the description with AI, I enhanced the body with AI, I calculated the reading time with a Notion formula, and then, you know, like I made a checkbox column to make it public. Uh, and from there, right, like we get all this content. And so now you can imagine adding like email hooks or adding these other really powerful Notion integrations into your database. And now you have like this really uh, complete system it's built on Replit and Notion um, for managing uh, your existing content flows and tying those into really engaging user-focused apps. So this is the Replit and Notion partnership. And I think, you know, the way the way that you're going to get started, I'll have a longer video for this later, is to first prompt agent. Second, create a connection in Notion. So that involves uh, going to a, a new page to create that connection. Um, create a page with a database. That's a prerequisite. You're going to enter your connection details in Replit while you're building. So all you have to do is create a prompt for agent. Here's my prompt that I use to build that website. And that's it. But this is building on Replit with Notion, thanks to our new Notion integration. Until next time, peace.